Hello, my name is Heitor from Bacula Latin America, the company that sells Enterprise Bacula license and gives support also to the enterprise and to the Bacula community versions. Bacula is a data center backup software that most grows in the whole world today. And we are going to talk in this video about the Proxmox Enterprise Bacula plugin, which is a great tool to perform uh, safe copies of the Proxmox virtual machines. This uh, quick guide is in our site, bacula.us, very easy to remember. And in this site also you can contact us if you have any interest or have any question about Bacula. Uh, this is my Proxmox hypervisor. I have already installed the Bacula Enterprise client and the common, which is a dependency package. And to perform the virtual machines backup, I must also install a Proxmox plugin. If I install the Bacula Enterprise plugin later, which is a Debian package, a .deb package, very easy to install. You can use a, a apt or dpkg to install this package. If I install later, I must use a restart if the client was installed uh, before the plugin. If you want to make sure that the plugin is loaded, just use any Bacula interface and fetch a client status, okay? So if I perform a client status, you can use B console for that, the status command, and then you can see that the client is loaded. Okay, very easy. Now I can proceed to the Bacula uh, virtual machine backup configuration, which is very easy. I just, just as any backup, I just need to create a file set and a job. I'm going to file set. I'm going to create a new file set, just provide a name for this, this file set, which is, the, which is the backup content. And then I use the wizards, the configure plugin wizard, which is here in edit plugins. And I have some options here. I have three modes of virtual machine backup. Each one is better for even reasons. If eventually you might want to stop the machine or just su suspend is fine for you or just make a snapshot. Each version is better for has have drawbacks and have advantage. So we're going to figure it out what is best for you. I can use the machine name to select the a single virtual machine for backup. If I put nothing like that, it is going to backup all machines from the hypervisor, which can be used depending on the size of the hypervisor. This way here, it will backup all the virtual machines, okay? But if I don't want to virtual machine, all virtual machines, I also have and other options. I can put the, main, the name, just use the name as, in the, as configured in the Proxmox. I can use the ID, the virtual machine ID, which is also, you can fetch it through the Proxmox console. I can include a regular expression. For example, I could make a win backup all virtual machines that starts with this name, or I can just exclude, uh, include everything, but exclude virtual machines with a given name. Abort the job on error, if any error happens, uh, in the uh, export, the virtual machine export part, and I can also limit the Proxmox bandwidth in generating backups. I will just, then I have regular file set options such as compression or the duplication, global duplication. And then 
I can just add a file set. After that, I just need to add a job. And a job. And then I need to use the Proxmox client and the file set that I just created. I would save and start a new backup job. I won't save because I already have performed a backup of a virtual machine. Now I'm going to show you how to restore a virtual machine. It's very easy. Just come to jobs, web restore. I will select my Proxmox client. I will let me sort. I will pick the last backup successful backup job. See how it's very easy, very intuitive. Here I will have my VMs, all the VMs that were copied in this backup job. I'll just select, drag and drop here. And then I have two main options. I can restore this virtual machine to a directory, the disk, so I can uh, outside Bacula. Export, import them to the hypervisor, or I can just tell Bacula to do that. I can put just, just leave it empty, or just put slash, which Bacula understands as root, the default location of the data. And under the Proxmox tab, I can also, I also have some another cool option, such as changing the storage, the virtual machine, the hypervisor, the Proxmox storage for restore, or I can also set up a new uh, resource pool for the restore, okay? I have the option of also flagging to create a new VM ID in sequential order for the restored machine, and if I click in Run Restore, it is going to proceed with the, the restoration. At the beginning of the log, log, the job log, Bacula already tells me that the new virtual machine was created as VM 115. And eventually, if I go to the Proxmox console, I can see that the restore is happening and everything is going, going to be fine. I will be able to start up this machine later. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy and we are available to help you with your backup project with, uh, to choose a better or a more adequate backup software for you in your data center, okay? Thank you very much. See you later.